you've, you've called the F-35 a turkey. Absolutely. It is a turkey. It's inherently a terrible airplane because it's an airplane built for a dumb idea. As soon as you go to design a multi-mission airplane, you're sunk. As soon as you try to make the airplane do close support, air-to-air, uh, -air, deep interdiction bombing, and to carry a whole long laundry list of technologies as long as my arm, you're sunk. You'll never get a good airplane out of that. You'll get a kludge, you know, that will fail, you know, time and time again. You know, so just as an example, mm -hmm. the Marines have this, you know, mindless uh, uh, passion now, recently, for vertical takeoff airplanes. Ever mm -hmm. since they got the British Harrier, well, that makes the airplane very fat because you have to have a lift fan in the center of the airplane to blow air vertically, to make it take off vertically or land vertically. Uh, so now you have a great big fat center section. Now you have too much drag. It turned out they put on tiny wings, which helps it to take off vertically, but means it can't maneuver in combat. You know, you need wings to create lift to turn. No wing, no turn. And so the airplane is astonishingly unmaneuverable you know, because it has to carry 108 pounds of airplane per square foot of wing. So in air-to-air -air combat, in dogfights? In dogfighting, it's hopeless. You can guarantee that a, a, a 1950s designed MiG-21 or French Mirage uh, would just hopelessly whip the, uh, mm -hmm. the F-35. So if the F-35 is not a fine combat uh, plane, what about uh, as uh, support for troops, air support? That's the most laughable of all, because to support troops, you have to be able to get in close, to maneuver, to find really difficult to find camouflage targets. You have to be able to turn at quite slow speed. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to carry a large gun, say like the A-10, uh, and you have to be able to stay in the vicinity of the troops for four to six hours. You have to be able to loiter in order to really give them all day cover when they need it. And, and this the is F hopelessly impossible with the F-35. Why? The F-35 uses far too much gas. It's lucky if it can hang around for an hour or an hour and a half at most. The maneuverability is laughable. You know, you couldn't possibly get down in the weeds, as the pilots say, with this airplane mm -hmm. and turn in time to see a tank. You know, remember, a tank is not visible from even maybe from a quarter mile or less. Mm -hmm. This airplane, at the speeds at which it has to go because of the tiny wings, remember, it can't maneuver, so it can't fly slow, and nor should it in combat because it's so vulnerable. So what is it good at? It's not good at anything. What about it's a, as a bomber? It's a terrible bomber. So it's a terrible bomber, and by the way, because of stealth, it's designed really to carry the weapons internally. Well, talk to me then about the, the stealth. I mean, how, how stealth capable is the F-35? Well, the first thing to know about stealth is that it's a scam. You know, it simply doesn't work. You know, radars that were built in 1942 could detect every stealth airplane in the world today. The Battle of Britain radars not because there was anything great about them, but because they happened to have very long wavelength. So every Battle of Britain radar would see the F-35 and the F-22 and the B-2. So you're telling me it's a bad airplane, it, it can't do dogfights, it can't protect troops on the ground, it's a lousy bomber, and despite everything that the manufacturer is saying, it's, it's not stealth. Correct. So what is you the are point exactly of correct. So what is the point of this plane? The point is to spend money. That is the mission of the airplane, is for the U.S. Congress to send money to Lockheed. That's the real mission of the airplane. 